Hello, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Following on from the last episode on the Triumph, as I said, I had a few more bits to do. I had the clutch cable to shorten and reattach the end barrel nipple and also do the HT leads, plugs, caps, etc. I've actually done the actual HT leads, I didn't bother filming that, plugs, change, caps, etc. So that's all now been sorted. I've just got the clutch cable to do. I did have one gentleman that said, could you actually film it? So I thought, okay, it's something I didn't really think about, but um, there are various ways that I've seen of doing it. I've always tended to just use a soldering iron to solder into the end of the, into the, end of the barrel. Or it could be a small nipple that fits into a barrel. Online there are varying ways of doing it, so I've actually rigged up my own little contraption I'm going to try it a different way. I'm going to use a test piece first. So let me show you what I've rigged up. It's a bit crude, but it seems to be doing the job. Like I say, I don't have lots of equipment. I don't have, all I have is a soldering iron. So what I've actually come up with is a couple of bits of metal. That is actually a brake piston with a T-light, two pieces of threaded bar with a bracket in the end and the solder's in there it does take a while to heat up as you can see so what I've actually done is actually just a test piece so I've put the nipple on or the barrel flared the ends and it'll just be a case of dip so I've just got a bit more solder to go in and then I can dip it in and we'll have a go like that. Right, so that's now melted. That's the end, just splayed. And just dipped. Wait for that to cool off and we'll see how that one's come out like. Like I say, first time I've actually attempted this particular way, so I'll leave that going because obviously I will need to do the proper cable, but I just wanted to do a test run first, see how that came out. Right, so I've put the end on, splayed it out. So that's after a bit of cleaning up. I say, first time I've ever tried this particular way of doing it. Like I say, it is a bit crude, it's just a tea light, a couple of bits of threaded bar. I won't touch that because it's still quite hot. But literally that will just cool down. I'll leave it in there until the next time I want to use it, then I can just add more. Let's say the bracket obviously had a hole in it. Yeah, crude, but works. So that was our test piece. And the actual cable is just down there. Again, that will need cleaning up. But that's come out okay. And then get it fitted to the bike. I say we know now all the gearbox is sorted. I just need to obviously the clutch. Like I said, I've done all the HT leads, checked all the wiring, gone back through, made sure everything's okay. So hopefully next episode 
I'll get the clutch cable refitted. Check all the fluids, I've got some to top up. Check the engine oil uh, gearbox I've got to do, I haven't done that yet. That's still empty and check the primary. And then hopefully start up and ride out that door. But no, so I hope that helped. As I say, I've never done this particular variation of it before. I've just used your common garden soldering iron and done it that way. But I thought I'd test, you know, explore new areas and uh, yeah, quite quite good. Yeah, so that was, as I say, something slightly different. Uh, a learning process again. You know, give it a try. Obviously, don't go near it afterwards because it is extremely hot. So I'll just leave that. I actually put it on uh, a piece of metal. But yeah, I mean, for a first attempt, he's a little bit more filing around. But as I say, it was an old, smaller barreled nipple that I had. And uh, yeah, so quite pleased with that idea. As I say, I'm always trying to learn, I'm always trying to explore new ways of doing things. Some people might say I've been doing it that way for years, but it's something new to me, so I wanted to learn and have a go. Which, uh, what the channel is all about, it is learning new ways, thinking up new ideas, thinking out behind the box. You know, I wanted to try the way, but it's like, well, how do I actually hold? Uh, the container to put the actual solder in and it's like oh you know bits hanging around the garage had that bracket with the hole in it anyway and then it was like what's small enough uh, an old brake piston any comments in the comments box below appreciate all your feedback all your comments there are links to other videos at the end of the video and as always appreciate your support thanks for watching join me again in the next episode cheers bye